what does the fox say? You know what? I have no idea. I don't think I've ever seen a fox in real life. It's a song? <laughs> I don't know. I never saw that weird video, no. Everyone knows the fox song. Well, I'm terrible with names, like maybe I have and I just don't know that's the fox song. Like, everyone's having a fucking conniption because I haven't listened to these songs. Watch it now. <sighs> Alright, what does the fox say? I got it, I'm muting myself, I'm listening. I, pa I paused? What the fuck am I watching? I almost feel like just going going over to my computer and just unplugging the ethernet cable. So then I don't get any more internet today. Like, I, I think that's it. I definitely did not see that. And I kind of wish... <laughs> Ignorance is bliss, you know? How did I exist? Well, there are plenty of things I just did not see. You know, it's possible for someone not to see that. It just depends where that got popular. If it was on social media, that might be why, because I just I actively avoid social media for the most part. That's like not knowing Gangnam Style. Alright, I know that one at least. I mean, okay. I'm gonna say there's like a vague familiarity to it because it quite possibly could have been played as a meme song, like when I was out and about somewhere. The start of it did, was not familiar, but then when it kicked in, I was like, okay, I feel like I've heard this, but I'm not positive. This is like the second time I've been forced to watch like a Scandinavian music video. You know that, right? <laughs> it's the second time. Who's forcing me? Will, you better watch it. Will, watch it. Yeah. Oh my God, watch it. Will, why? Why haven't you seen this? Oh my God, you need to see this. There's at least six messages in all caps. You don't want me to have FOMO. Well, you know what? That video is nine years old. There are going to be Zoomers that don't know what that is. So it's fine. You guys with your boomer references. Yeah, I said it! Oh <laughs> uh, dear. Wait, the song actually has information and learning potential? The Ilvis brothers in general? What, do they do kids music? It's entertainment. I tell ya. You Scandinavians really do live on the opposite ends of the earth. If that's entertainment. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Put me all near down. I was only kidding. Game audio is muted. Thank you. I think it's ruined. I, I blame the Norwegian music. Thank you. Now I have like two minutes of the VOD that I, I, I'm gonna have to improvise. It's alright, I'll, I'll just be clever and overlay the game soundtrack on top of it in post-production, it'll be fine. Mouth the sound effects, that works. No, I'll just onomatopoeia, like just sword, shield, sword, dodge, shield, sword, dodge, shield, sword, sword, sword. Brush up on my beatboxing, can I beatbox? I can't beatbox, no. At a... I wouldn't say young age, but I'd say young-ish age. I got put off from beatboxing. My uncle was really into beatboxing. Until one day, he recorded himself using his computer beatboxing. And so, I, uh, I made the sound of his computer starting up him beatboxing. And he didn't know how to remove it. So the, when he booted up his computer the next time, my cousins were hanging around with him, and then... His computer started up and it was him beatboxing and he couldn't turn it off. The fuck is this? How do you turn this off, man? Put it back, that's how it used to be, come on. Ugh. I think I was like 10 at the time. All right, man, I get it, it's funny, come on, put it back. To be fair, the, beatbo the beatboxing wasn't bad. My uncle sounds funny, he's funny, yeah. And the friends he used to hang out with, I'm not going to use the real name, but he had a he had a friend called Jose. Let's just say Jose. And this guy was like a hustler in the true sense. Just no matter where he went, that guy would always try to get a discount. So there was once where they gave me a ride home. I was at their house and we stopped by um, the local shopping mall. So 
Jose walks into this clothing chain and he said he's in a new he's in a boy band. A new boy band. And he walks up, wants to see the manager, and says that he wants to wear clothing from the store to promote the store. And was wondering if he could get a discount. Man got his discount after like five minutes. Do you, do you want to hear a, another story about Jose? I'll tell you another story about Jose. So my cousin was out of work and he was looking for work. He came over to my uncle's house. I was there and I had the newspaper. He asked me for the paper so he could look at the help wanted. And so he's browsing through it. And right next to the classifieds, they have the, um, the I don't know what they call it. It's like a services section, more or less. So he sees, he sees an ad for something called Latin Escorts. So he sees this ad and he's like, who the fuck could this be? Cause you know, there's not a whole lot of us in that area. And then he looks at the phone number and he's like, wait a minute. He checks his phone and sure enough, it's Jose's, it's Jose's phone number. So he gets my uncle and he's like, did you know Jose has got an escort service? Neither of them knew this, no one knew this. So they call the, they call the escort service up. He pretends to have a receptionist. He puts on a voice, so like he has a receptionist, and then he plays some music to make it sound like they've been put on hold. When it's like pretty, pretty fucking obviously not. They were not put on hold. So he does the full thing, just like you know, make make them wait like a little bit, and then yeah, he just does this full-on sales pitch and make it. He makes it sound like he has a, a team of twenty escorts just ready to go. And you know, he asks about the needs and you know what kind of uh man they're looking for and at the end he goes i think i got the perfect candidate i'll send you jose <laughs> 15 minute conversation and multiple times like we just had to stick our heads in a pillow because we were just laughing that fucking hard like just the lengths he was going to to make this seem like it was legitimate business like a small business with 20 escorts and then of those 20, ah yes, we've handpicked Jose for you. I don't know how long it lasted because they just kept giving him shit. They'd be hanging out and then, you know, one of them would call another and the other one would answer, yes, Latin escorts. This is Jose speaking. Ah, yes, I have the perfect man for you. His name is Jose. <laughs> oh my God. I just remembered what, I can't, I can't say the business name. I can't say it. But, you know how, um... Alright, this is a bit of a boomer reference, but... Like, in Seinfeld, Kramer named his business after himself, and he called himself Kramerica Industries. Basically that, with his own real name. And it was Enterprises. It was like... His real name, Enterprises. Just imagine a very Spanish name, then Enterprises. <laughs> Jose Enterprises, yes. And it would say CEO, not owner, he's a CEO. CEO and founder of Jose Enterprises. Probably add chairman as well, like... CEO, founder, and chairman of Jose Enterprises. Do you want to know what it's like to be around people like that? When I see that something is going to go wrong, and like someone's going to start a fucking fire, you know, metaphorically speaking, I'll point out exactly what could go wrong. Cause I'm like, you probably shouldn't do that. Case in point, like the first time my uncle went on a chat room, I was like, hey man, just, just be careful, you know? <laughs> Sometimes people will try to send you viruses and sure enough, the very next day, you know, him, my cousin and their friend uh, huddle around. Supposedly he's talking to some, some girl and then this girl's going to send them a picture. I'm watching. And this thing pops up and this person's trying to send them a file that quite clearly isn't a picture. It has the extension SCR. And I'm like, that's not a picture, that's a virus. So, you know, quite clearly a virus, I tell him. And he's just, his response is, don't worry, don't worry. That's, that's like how he holds it in, more or less. He opens the file, computer goes to shit immediately. So, it's just... The amount of times I heard, don't worry, and then something lighting on fire, metaphorically speaking, of course, between them. Yeah. My uncle living on dial-up internet is trying to get smart. I talked about this the other night. Just trying to look up smart back in those days. 
if you the, the dial-up part wasn't the struggle because it's all relative right like media was sized appropriately for the time the problem was if you needed to look at smut or any or do anything on the internet late at night just pull out your phone put an alarm and just make that alarm go off for, for 30 seconds straight and then you can't do anything to turn the alarm off that's basically what it was to connect to the internet so you used to have to sm i had to smother the phone with a fucking pillow because it was just that loud it's it's story night Crazy story night whilst I try to survive with the fox. I'll say an uncle of mine, one one day, was tired of people barging in to his room without knocking first. So, you know, they're pretty handy. Like if you needed a shelf built or something, they could do it. You know, he wanted something that had a lock on it, but not a flimsy lock that you could, uh, kind of brute force, let's say. So he got, he got the idea, hey, why don't I go down to the hardware store, the big one that we have here in Australia. I'm going to say it that way, but so you understand the context. I'll go purchase a door that is intended to be a front door. And then I'll put that as a door to my room. Those have excellent locks. So anyway, he gets this door and he brings the door in. And I'm like, that's a front door. And he's like, yeah, it's going to work great. Don't worry. No, but like, an inside door is different to an outside door, it's not gonna work. Don't worry, I'll make it work, I'll make it fit. So he spends the afternoon trying to fit in this door to his room, and to his credit, he did get it, you know, attached to the frame, and he opened and closed it a couple times, it was fine. But then on the third attempt to open and close it to show my other uncle, the door got stuck. So then, you know, he's a strong dude. He tries to get it unstuck, and then the door handle falls off on the other side. So now he has this door that he can't open that's locked. And then he had to remove the door and put back the door he had before. Don't worry, Will. I will make it fit. What kind of door handle is that? Not one intended for an inside door. The more, the more like, you... Just think of a door that you look at it and it's quite obviously, oh, are they replacing the front door? No, this is going in a bedroom. Why? All you need to know is that it fell off. That's it. <laughs> I'm just not going to answer any other questions relating to the door. It's best that I leave it that way. I think a story is better when you're left asking yourself questions. Like, I can't change the events that happened. That's, that's just what happened. The I love just how perplexing it is. It's thought-provoking, isn't it?